Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm speaking about how you can set your website up to run Google ads for your products. So if you have an e-commerce business, maybe you're selling on Shopify, on WooCommerce or BigCommerce or some other e-commerce platform, you can actually run ads to your website via Google. Now creating Google ads on your own can be very involved. You have to think about your quality score, you have to think about your ads, your copy and all of these different types of things. And I get so many messages from people who are running ads and they just get overwhelmed with it all. Well, this video is sponsored by Okiano. What they do is they actually help you to create effective ads for your e-commerce store quickly and easily and seamlessly. So all you have to do is plug your website in and they will create your Google ads for you, helping you with things like such as quality score and really getting your ads um, to appear as Google ad friendly as possible really. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of an example of how to utilize Okiano to your advantage. But before I get into that, I want to quickly speak about Google ads and why Google ads can be effective, some of the pros and cons to actually using Google ads for your e-commerce business. So first and foremost, we have to remember that Google is, in, is search based marketing so it's search intent based marketing that means when someone goes to google they normally have an idea of where it is they want they search for it so if they see your product in the ad section when they're when they are searching for something that they are looking for and they click on your website chances are they are a lot more likely to convert because whatever you pitch to them is hopefully something that they actually looked for. And this is one of the metrics that Google use within their Google ads to determine whether or not your Google ads are actually of high quality and whether or not they will be seen by enough people for it to really make sense um, for your marketing. Because you want to make sure that the product is actually relevant to the search terms that you're bidding for on Google. Um, so that people have a quality experience when they're on Google. But if they, if your product is relevant to whatever searches are searching for, then it's, it's a, a lot more likely that people will convert into sales as well. This is different from things such as Instagram, Facebook marketing, which is more interruption based marketing. People don't actively go to those platforms nine times out of 10 to see your advert. They don't necessarily go on there to see your product or, or your service. So when they do see your ad, if you're doing ads on those platforms, then that's more interruption based marketing and as a result that can actually convert a lot less. But one thing that you do need to keep in mind with regards to Google Ads is that running Google Ads can actually be a little bit more expensive depending on what keywords it is that you are planning on bidding on. So let's get straight into Okiano. I wanna show you how this platform can help you to run more effective ads on Google or to start advertising with Google Ads if it's been overwhelming and you just haven't gotten around to it yet. So as you can see, I'm on this website called summerlist.co.uk. This is the website that I'm going to be using as an example in this video. And I'm also on Okiano. We're gonna start a 30 day free trial. So before I even click on that, I'm gonna to go to their pricing plan so you can kind of see what's going on here. So they have two main kind of plans, unless you are in a larger agency, you're going to want to think about these two plans. So, the, so they both come with 30 days free trial. So even if you just want to test these guys out, there's no money up front. It's a 30 day free trial that you can utilize to kind of see if it will work, see if it's effective, see if it's easy enough and applicable to your business. And this is one of the reasons why I love it. It's a no brainer test it out, see how effective it is. And you know, you don't wanna just keep it for the 30 days, but you know, I always recommend that you keep your ads running to kind of see how they perform over time. Um, the more data you give to Okiano, the better they will be able to kind of optimize your ad as well. So keep that in mind as well. Um, but the first kind of plan is 12%. Uh, so they will take 12% of your Google ad spend um, and the minimum charge will be $88 a month. So they will take 12% basically of whatever you spend within Google ads, but the minimum has to be $88 a month, which 
is quite fair to be honest um, and then they have another plan which is the 5% of your sales generated by Okeano um, and a minimum charge again is $88 a month. So you need to kind of decide which one will work best for you. Um, I recommend really having a think about this first before you go ahead and select your Okeano um, package and start setting it up um, because you know you wanna make sure you go with the right package from the get-go. If you feel like you're going to be generating loads of revenue from your website and you don't want to give that revenue up, then I recommend going for the 12% of your Google Ads spend um, account. But it really just depends on your business and your business model. So I'm going to select this one, 12% of your Google Ads spend, um, because you know when your ads actually start generating you a lot of revenue, then you might not actually want to depart with that money that you're generating because obviously it's going to become a higher sum hopefully later on down the line so uh, let's click on begin trial and here you can sign up with uh, google or you can sign up with shopify or you can just go ahead and create a new account so i'm going to try and sign up with google um, to see if this is a little bit quicker i'm going to select my google account and here we go, we're right in the setup process of Okeano. So it's asking me about my business, so I'm going to paste the URL for this test site that we're using, uh, store name. I'm going to name this uh, summer list, store slogan. So this is all about kind of outdoor fun. So I'm gonna create a slogan and this is gonna be outdoor fun uh, for holiday people. Store description. So you wanna be as descriptive. The more description you kind of give to Okeano, then the better they can create effective ads for your website. So the majority of Okeano ads are going to be auto-generated for you. So you don't have to really worry about you know the actual setting up of your ads but at the same time the more data you put here the more effective your ads are likely to be so i'm going to kind of put something brief here and say uh we supply the best summer products for your holidays never worry again about products for holiday trips you can use us at any time so obviously my spelling is not great so you're going to want to make sure that you kind of proof and check this um, i use grammarly as you can see down here um, but you can kind of just make sure maybe copy this into a word document and make sure that there's no spelling mistakes um, but I've kind of just been brief here, but again, you're going to want to be as descriptive as possible. I'm keeping this short for the purposes of this video. I um, mean, then you want to choose your business category. So I'm going to go for apparel and accessories. Um, and in terms of e-commerce platform, my platform is WooCommerce. But as you can see, these are the natural integrations um, that are, um, you know, organic within Okeano. But if you don't see your platform here, then you can select other e-commerce platforms um, and there should be a third party kind of integration that you can utilize to kind of connect your Okeano store to your e-commerce platform. So we're gonna go with WooCommerce. I may be doing other videos later on down the line of how to kind of connect Okeano to a platform that is not kind of naturally integrated here. But if you're, if you're using a different platform and you wanna know about how to do that or you get stuck, do leave me a comment in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to get that video out. Um, so you wanna select your target audience as well. So in terms of country, um, I am based in the United Kingdom, but wherever you're trying to get your advert served to, you're going to want to select that location. And then you can select languages. So they are only supporting English ads at the moment, um, but they're working on developing other languages as well. So um, if you are serving different markets, then that's something to watch out for. So competition, now this is really key as well. So you want to name um, up to five competitors. So basically we can utilize their websites as well 
and basically when you give that to Okiano, they can use that as data to create more effective ads for you. What you can actually do is go and find some of your competitors. You might know who your main competitors are already. If you don't, then just go to Google um, and type in uh, holiday products or whatever it is that you are kind of selling. So we've got here super drug, uh, we also have this product here as well, holidayproducts.com. Let's see what they're selling. So Superdrug might be one of my competitors, so I can actually copy the URL, uh, go back to Okiano and paste it in there. And then I can go to holidayproducts.com. If this was one of my competitors as well, I can copy that in there and paste that. Um, now I would recommend choosing competitors who already kind of have Google Ads going. So see who's already in the search results in the ad section for the product, for the keywords that you want to be ranking for. Um, and I would say, suggest to have some of those in your competitors field as well. So add additional information, so information that will help people to find your store. Um, top selling products, audiences, genders, most interesting. So you wanna, again, feed Okiano with as much information as possible. So if your top selling products, for example, uh, was your mat, then I would put here our holiday mats are our best selling products because they are made out out of the best material sourced from only the top suppliers. And then you could put something like we sell products that appeal both to females and males and so on and so forth. So again, you know, make sure that this is as in depth as possible. Um, you don't wanna leave any stone unturned. You wanna be telling Okiano about your top selling products, your audiences, your gender, your most interesting audience, your age, etc., so that they can kind of help you to serve your, custom, your adverts to the right customers. So you can also check if you would like to be included in newsletter promotions. This is completely up to you. Um, you can check it or you can uncheck it if you don't want to be included in newsletter updates. And then you can go and select um, store details. So I'm gonna go and select that. And here is where you choose what plan you want. Now, obviously we've already spoken about us about this. So hopefully by the time you get to this stage, you already know what plan you want to select. Um, but there's more information here about the plan as well before you kind of make that hard and fast decision. So I'm gonna select this 12% uh, of my ad spend, as I mentioned, and I'm going to begin my trial. So now it wants to connect to my Google Ads. So I'm going to connect Okiano to my Google Ads um, and I'm gonna use my ads and I'm gonna select allow and grant access and then I'm gonna allow again. So as you can see, it says my Google Ads account was connected successfully. So it was really seamless, really easy, only took a couple of uh, clicks really. Um, and now it's asking me for my budget. So how much would I like to set as my budget? So it's saying I can set your advertising budget. So I've got my monthly budget and I've got my estimated monthly visitors here. So if I select more of a monthly budget, then it will tell me how many monthly visitors I'm going to get and it will estimate my monthly sales as well. So you can kind of just see, okay, cool. This is how much I'm planning to spend. Uh, the minimum spend, as you can see, is 750, um, but it goes up to nine, to 1200, to 2000, 2500. So you can kind of play about with that there. If you wanted to start off with your 750, then you can, um, and then just see how that kind of rolls out and works for your business. As I have mentioned, Google Ads can be expensive, so you don't wanna be making mistakes with it. You wanna be using a company that kinda of knows what they're doing. They know how to run e-commerce ads effectively. So I would say definitely try this out for a month or two. Um, select like maybe a low 
uh, add spend at first and then you can gradually increase it as you start to see kind of more results for your business. Another thing to mention as well is once you have your ad spend, Okiano will not spend higher than that. So if your ad spend, for example, was £1,200 a month or $1,200 a month, I should say, then uh, they won't spend above that cap. So, you know, you don't have to worry about overspending each month. So hopefully now you can see kind of how easy it is to get yourself set up with Okiano um, and then you should start seeing your Google ads appear um, when people search for related keywords to your e-commerce business. Now I will be doing like further videos to this to kind of show you the back end of how Okiano works um, and kind of doing almost like a case study as well. We're working to do some sort of case study to show you Okiano on the back end and how you can utilize it and how it's been used and being used um, by other people to kind of generate sales for their products. A huge thank you to Okiano for actually sponsoring this video. Um, I'm going to have a coupon code as well that you can utilize, but I really do hope that this video brought you value. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day make sure you download the formula and i will see you soon